I see that's going. It says my mic and everything's nice and pretty and going good. Everything should be good. Why is there an options button for a game like this? If you want, you can mute the actual video thing so you don't hear me twice. I just need you to be able to check every now and then, make sure the thing hasn't crashed. No problem. Ha ha, you can't skip things. Shit, where's my soda? Web, where's my soda? I don't fucking know where your soda is, idiot. Where'd I put my soda? I don't know where you put your soda. Oh, it's behind Is it behind that? Behind it. Novel adventure, you can switch in and out of each interchangeably. What the fuck does that mean? We're gonna pick whichever one gives the story. What are you doing? DMC, huh? People to fucking remember in this one. A loud noise started June Pie? Is that June Pie? Or June Pie? Fuck. It's supposedly a guy. How the hell do I pronounce that? It doesn't make it sound feminine as hell. That sounds French. Fuck it, we'll go with it. Junpei. What? What? What the? As he just did like, he realized that he didn't recognize the surroundings and fucking just flashbang me. God damn. Cracked. Junpei's head connected with something metal. He rolled over and threw out his hand to study himself, but he found himself groping at empty air. Is that really the word he could have that, that they had to use? Groping at empty air. Uh, what? Whoa! Is it the person that gropes his mouth bad all the time? <laughs> this balance loss is still fuzzy my struggle to understand what's going on. You pay, tumble down to the cold grave floor. Ouch! God damn it! Ah! What the hell? Seems like there'll be more, more voice acting though and then thing a rope ahead. Cat, what are you doing? Hey! Cat! What are you doing? What do you think A bed? <sighs> that fell pretty far. Go make sure my internet cable's safe. <sighs> that really hurt. Damn, my eyesight's kind of blurry. Must have hit my head. No, wait. That's not it. <sighs> An earthquake. <sighs> but it it's shaking too fast for that. That's because you're on a boat. We all saw it when the, you know, on the camera pan and thing. Also, your room looks like it belongs in a boat. Maybe start guessing a boat any time now, Webb. What does that make you think you're on? Exactly. <laughs> uh, anyway. Where am I? Wait, it it stopped? What's that sound? Boat sounds. This is an old ass boat though too. That's Oh, so that's the difference between novel between adventure and novel. Okay. Five? What's this five mean? Ah, it won't open. What's this? Is this keeping the door shut? Hey! Hello? 
Is anyone there? Open the door! <sighs> huh? What the hell is this? A watch? It doesn't look like one. Five. That's... that's the same as the door. What? How do I take this off? Maybe pushing something on this will work? Nothing. Damn. Guess I'll have to force it off. No good. This stupid thing won't come off. What the hell is the deal with this thing? Where am I? And why the hell am I here? Why? What the hell happened to me? Very appropriate ah, question. Ah, my head. Huh. This is... Hold on. Uh, am I on a ship? Hey, you finally figured it out. I can't see anything. If only it wasn't so dark outside. Huh? What the... Oh, you gotta be kidding me. What... What the hell is going on here? What the hell? God damn it! Hey! Anyone! Is anyone there? Come on, if you're there, say something! It's... it's not stopping. Not good. Not good at all. I need to find a way out, and fast. Okay, so the first part's gonna be an escape room type thing. Third class again. Yeah. Cover it during escape. During escape, you are restricted to an area. Go all search around and cover how to unlock this door. There are items and hints in the room that will help you escape. Use the courage to select the place you need to find specific security. I'm gonna walk around. Get up and win. A zombie. Man, what the hell? How did I end up here? I left work, headed back to my apartment, and and now's not the time to remember I'm back. that sort of thing. Not like anyone will respond. Uh, man, work was rough today. Huh? A breeze. Huh? That, that's weird. Did I leave that open? Hmm, everything looks okay. I must have forgotten to close it. What? Who are... I... I can't... Consider this a privilege. You have been chosen. You are going to participate in the game, the memory game. It is a game where you will put your life on the line. That's right. That guy with the gas mask. That son of a bitch must have taken me here. When I get my hands on him... Well, I, I guess there's no way to know if that was a man or not. Just who was that? They said, you have been chosen. What the hell is going on? Why me? 
You're the one to participate in the game. The memory game. It is a game where you will put your life on the line. The nonary game? Huh. What the hell is a nonary game? God, God damn it! What? There, that might help. I moved the mic closer to my face. This thing is telling me how to decipher that fucking piece of paper that I got that's got four different symbols on the damn thing. Remember a bunch of numbers and symbols in the back of this picture, huh? Yep. Pretty sure I'm supposed to read it like this, basically. So this part of it should be...
paper and they'll have a couple on it.
that part, but there's gotta be a red case here somewhere. There you go. There had to be a fucking red case somewhere. I need to get to a digital room of five. Wait, is it... is it over? Ooh, that felt too much like being flushed down a toilet. Damn. Well, better than drowning, I guess. Am I in a... a hallway? Oh. A door. An... Damn, this water. God, let me go! Oh, huh, yes. What the hell? This is the inside of a ship? Well... Yeah, that's what I thought. This is totally a... Wait, what the hell? A wave? Oh shit! Shit! Okay, I, I gotta get out of here! See that? <laughs> B deck, hurry, hurry! Uh, A deck's next. What? People. A lot of people. Um. Uh. 
I guess it's another one of us now. Uh, a, a, a dancer? No, I'm not. You better get moving. Oh, uh, well... Uh, silver hair? Huh? <laughs> one of us. We're, what? Nothing. Going up won't do you any good. There are two doors, but neither of them will open. Wait, hold on. The, the doors won't open. Come on! Aren't you coming? You gotta hurry! That's nine of us, then. All of the cards are in hand. Wait! They're gone. Just what is going on? There's an old man like a lion, a girl with pink hair, and a prince, and I have no idea what they're talking about. Huh? Uh... uh, 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 uh. <laughs> ah. What's that all about? Hey! What the hell are you just standing there for? Didn't you hear him? Uh. The doors on A deck are no good. We gotta check the doors on B deck. Got it? Now go! Oh. Hey, man, that was Dan. Huh? Four? And this one says. Five. They're the same. The room I woke up in had a number on the door just like that. You too, eh? My cell was the same. A number upon the door. I opened it, ran down the hallway outside, and found myself in a rather grand room full of stairs, as I suspected the rest of you. Me too. Same for me. There was a door with a number on it. Yes, we all saw the same thing. That's not important. We need to hurry. You think I don't know that lady? Oh. Fuck, it's not opening. This damn thing won't even budge. Out of my way. A body slam from a guy that big didn't even budget. There must be some other way. Huh. This looks just like the device next to the door in that room earlier. So that means this door is probably locked too. But still... Uh, damn it! Are there any other doors? There's a girl. She looked to be the same age as Junpei. She wasn't able to look away from her face. He wasn't confounded. He wasn't confounded with very something. He was you know, there's another reason he couldn't take his eye off of the girl. He was somewhere before. I can't remember where, but he knew. He knew he met her before. The girl too stared at Jubei, similarly stunned. The response suggested she's seen him uh. before as well. Huh? Without saying a word, she went towards, slowly towards her. She didn't move. It's almost as though she was held in place by some sort of magic spell. Underlining the spell broke. No sooner had he set his foot down than the whole ship shook. Yeah. He quickly caught the girl and buried it. Watch out! Down. Moving on instinct, he leapt to catch her. Or so he thought. Oh. Face was far closer than it should have been, mere inches yeah. from the bone. He was flat on his back as he had landed squarely on top of him. The girl seemed as confused as he did, and her face judges she still hadn't fully recovered from seeing them. For a moment that seemed to stretch for a very long time, they stared at one another. The ship stopped shaking. Everything was quiet. Water could be heard from the bottom of the ship, lapping faintly at the walls and ceilings, but eventually that faded as well. Science was complete, a thick, muffling blanket. The last girl Oh my around. gosh! Is that you, Jumpy? Oh god, she calls him Jumpy. Jumpy, Jumpy. Words are through Jumpy's head, and suddenly he's never uh. returned. Okay? Why didn't he realize it before? The girl was Akane something. She and Jumpy had been friends in childhood. They'd gone to a magic school together for six years. There's dead silence for some reason in this game. But what was she doing on the ship? South Tide's really inches away from his own. He could feel the warmth of her face. Feelings he thought long forgotten began to work their way <laughs> to the surface. He could feel his face heating up. At that moment... What? What's that voice? This is... That guy in the gas mask! Hey, asshole! What the hell is this? Come on out here! I want to get a look at you! 
What do you mean to do to us? What is he talking about? Hey, there's something in my pocket. Check this out. Hey, I, I got one too. Then it would seem Zero has seen fit to grace us each with a letter. Would you mind terribly reading it to us, young man? On this ship, you will find a handful of doors emblazoned with numbers. We will call them the numbered door. The doors in front of you are a pair of the same. The key to opening these numbered doors are the numbered bracelets that each of you possess. Should you total the numbers on your numbered bracelets and find that the digital root of that number is equal to the number of that door, the door will open. Only those who have opened the door may pass through. There are, however, limits. Only three to five people can pass through one numbered door. All those who enter must leave, and all who enter must... So this thing on my arm is a bracelet. The purpose of the game is simple. Leave this ship alive. It is hidden, but an exit can be found. Seek a way out. Seek a door that carries a nine. I hear a bell. I think it's coming from over by the stairs. It's the clock telling us the time. It rang nine times, so nine o'clock then? I think it's nine. I couldn't see anything when I tried looking out the window earlier. It has to be nighttime. If that is the case, then we would need to escape by 6 a.m. tomorrow. What do you mean by that? Come out here, you asshole! Ugh, that guy won't stop shouting. And the others. <sighs> hmm. Uh. Whew. Uh, I have way too many questions. Who is Zero? What's the nonary game? What's it for? Is he some nut job just doing this to mess with us? Or... Does he have some other purpose? Why pick me to be part of this insane game? And the others? Why are these eight people here? And the most confusing of them all. Why is Akane here? I haven't seen her since elementary school. Why her? Why now? Coincidence? No. There's no way. There has to be a reason. I don't know what exactly, but there has to be. Very well. Standing around here won't do us any good. Best we get moving, don't you think? Get moving? Are you planning to open the numbered doors? Hey, wait! But don't tell me you're actually gonna do what this... this Zero says. No, no, that's not what I mean. I'm saying let's find another way. After all, we haven't really examined this place yet. We... what? Where have we not looked? Everyone searched A-Deck already. Yeah, we were kind of in a rush though, so we probably missed some things. Why don't we check out the lower floors first? We should see how deep this place goes. I can work with that. Then let's go. Whoa! What the hell? It's completely submerged. Damn. If the water level keeps rising like this, we're all gonna drown. No. I don't believe that's something we have to worry about. See? The water's not flowing. 
That means the origin of the water has been stopped. Perhaps this Zero fellow has used some sort of remote control to seal a watertight door lower down. He said that our time limit was nine hours. In other words, this water won't rise for nine hours. Then you're saying we won't sink till then? Well, that may be a little too optimistic. No point to wishful thinking. <sighs> That's depressing. If we don't determine a way to advance from this point, we are stuck on A deck and C deck. Looks that way. Hey, hold on. How about we check C deck before we jump to any conclusions? We might find something there. Huh, you're right. I think we should look at the metal doors by the big staircase, too. They're pretty suspicious. No numbers on either door. And I don't see an authentication device, either. Nope. It's locked. This one, too. Damn, none of the doors are opening. Hey, guys, over here. There's another door behind the stairs. <sighs> this one doesn't open, either. We'll see about that. Hey, old man. Give me a hand. Using force, I see. Let's give it a try. <laughs> It won't budge. Could you not just start shouting out of nowhere? You almost gave me a heart attack, you know. Oh, sorry. It doesn't appear to have moved even with two of us trying. It's very well made. Idiots. Try using your brain first. Huh? Take a closer look. A keyhole? Right. It's obvious what we need to open this door. <clears throat> a key, huh? You got a problem? No, I just really doubt we'll find a key that easily. <sighs> What's this? There's a mark on it. D does it mean something? Hey, look! Over here, too! Hmm? More doors. I think they're elevators. There's an inverted triangle button by them. May as well try pressing it. Huh. Nothing. Maybe the power isn't on. Or we need to do something with this card reader. And there's a strange mark here, too. What is this? It looks like a lowercase h with a dash drawn across the upper stem of the h. This is the symbol of Saturn. It's an astrological symbol. Then the mark on the other door... I think that was the sun symbol. We saw the same symbols on A deck. You did? I don't remember that. A deck, huh? huh. I haven't been there, so I wouldn't know. You may as well check again, since we're talking about it. There! The two doors next to the stairs. The one on the left had a keyhole with a similar symbol engraved on it. She's right. It, it looks similar to what we saw downstairs. So, that sun... This is an Earth symbol. The horizontal line symbolizes the equator, and the vertical one represents the prime meridian. I see. Hmm. Metal plates. Huh. It's as if it's covering something up. Perhaps it was a dome of some kind. I wish we could get out through there. Be realistic. We'd need a lot of explosives to open that up. The windows, too. Huh. They're all covered, in other words. We're trapped. All the exits go nowhere. Well, I'm sure they go somewhere. You don't know that. For all we know, they just open into walls or take us in circles. No. I'm sure they go somewhere. Otherwise, what point would there be? And we can open them. Well, two of them, at least. Oh, you mean the numbered door. Hey, wait a minute. I think I said this earlier, but I... We'd have to be crazy to open these doors. If we do that, we're doing exactly what Zero wants us to do. May as well give it a shot. Can't stay here forever. Yes, I'm in favor. No, I'm totally against them. But shouldn't we at least try? We don't know what'll happen. We should stay... We don't have time for that. In eight and a half hours, this ship is going to sink. Uh... Hey! Shut up! Before we try and decide where we're going to go, there's something else we ought to do. What's that? We need to exchange information. We don't know anything about each other. I want to know who you guys are. Who you are, where you came from. Don't tell me you aren't curious. I agree. 
I think Jumpy is right. Jumpy? Oh, I'm sorry. I'm talking about him. We're childhood friends. We went to the same elementary school. Wait, stop! Don't tell us stuff we didn't ask you about. Zero's probably watching us right now. What are you gonna do if he's listening in? Oh, would that be bad? Hell yeah, it would! We don't know how much that bastard knows about us. Maybe he just picked a bunch of random people to kidnap. If that is the case, then it'd be dangerous for us to let him know too much. If Zero knows who we are, he could go after our families. Maybe he'd tell us he had them to get us to do stuff, you know? But we still need to know what our names are. It's going to be hard to talk to each other if we don't have names. All right, then why don't we have code names? Code names? Yeah, we'll each pick something. Like, I'll be seven. Seven? Why are you seven? Because this bracelet number says seven. Oh, I get it. Yeah, that's a good idea. All right, I'm going to be Santa. Any of you chumps know Japanese? No? Well... Sun means three, so I'll be Santa. You know, like Santa Claus. Fits, don't you think? Then your bracelet number. Yeah, it's got a three on it. Good job, Grandpa. Very well then, I'll go next, shall I? My bracelet number is one. Given that, I think Ace seems appropriate. I'll be Lotus then. As I'm sure you all know, it has eight petals. Which means, of course, that my bracelet number is... Eight. I would appreciate it if you would call me Snake. My bracelet number is two. Since Ace has chosen cards, then I choose dice. Snake eyes, clearly. Which is particularly relevant given that I am blind. You can't see? I knew it. Me next! I want to be Clover. You know, like a four-leaf clover. Good luck, right? All right, my number's five, so my code name is gonna be... Well, I have one. It's not like there's any point to it now. I mean, we all know your name already. You're Junpei. Oh, yeah. Then you should all call me by my name, too. Because, I mean, it doesn't seem... It doesn't seem fair to Jumpy. You're thinking it's not cool for you to hide your name after you told us his. Uh, What's your bracelet number? It's six. All right, then. Uh, why don't we call you June? June? Yeah, you know, it's the, it's the sixth month of the year. So you're June. Jumpy? Are you good with that? Uh, yeah. Okay, then. So this is how everyone breaks down. One is Ace. Two is Snake. Three is Santa. Four is Clover. Five is me. Six is June. Seven is Seven. And eight is Lotus. That means eight of us have revealed our bracelet numbers. The only one left is... That glasses guy with hair like a bird's nest. You haven't said a thing so far, have you? Eh... Uh... <laughs> what number are you? Mm. Hey, I'm talking to you. Isn't it obvious? There are nine people here. And you know who numbers one through eight are. I'm the only one left. So you're nine? Yeah. What's your code name? Uh, code? What do you want us to call you? We all made up names. You should too. I don't need one. Why not? because I am not going to stay here with you. You've got some sort of plan? I do. Yeah? What's that? You sure you want to know? Yeah. All right. Let me show you. I'm going to do this. <laughs> hey! What the hell do you think you're doing? Stay back. Ah! If you get any closer... Uh, yeah, that's right. Clover! 
Are you all right? Yeah, I'm fine. What the hell are you trying to do? I told you, this is my plan. What are you gonna do to her, you sick son of a bitch? Don't worry. I'm not gonna do anything to her. If she just does what I tell her to, I'll let her go. Uh. Slowly. That's right. Just follow me. Here, verify. Uh. The left. Look on your left. Do you see the device on the wall? Place your hand on the scanner panel, the round part. What if I don't? Are you an idiot? What do you think? I could slit your throat right now. I'll kill you if I have to. All I need is your bracelet. <laughs> Just do it. Do it now. Uh, okay, I'll do it. Like this? So that's how it works. He called that round part of the device the scanner panel. If we put our left hand on it, our bracelet number gets entered into the device. Then... Should you total the numbers on your numbered bracelets... ...and find that the digital root of that number is equal to the number of that door, the door will open. Door 5. Why does this guy know so much about how this thing works? It's like he knows exactly what to do. Good. Good. You're done. Next? You, right? You're the one with the number one bracelet. Yes. I am. So? Then you're next. Just verify your number like this little brat did. <laughs> what are you doing? Don't you care what hap- Okay, okay. Just calm down. I'm coming over. Now, verify. All right, this is what you wanted, right? Now the device has both Clover and Ace's numbers. Four and one. Four plus one is five. It's the same as the number written up, but it won't open yet. Only three to five people can pass through one numbered door. One more person. If what Zero said is true, he needs one more person. Who? Who does he need? Get back! No! Farther! More than that! Go all the way back! Okay. Uh, wait. Uh, don't tell me. Clover's four, and Ace is one. Added to the ninth man's nine, four plus one plus nine is fourteen, and the digital root of fourteen, one plus four, is five. There, now I can turn the mic back on. In other words... <laughs> Thank God you were all so cooperative. Now, I can get out of this nightmare. need you anymore <gasps> wait here she's all yours <gasps> okay have a good one guys I'm going off ahead now goodbye clover are you all right yeah I'm fine damn it that bastard <clears throat> Shit! It won't budge. Do you hear something? Like... Like some sort of... beeping. You're right. I can hear it too. What is it? Why is it stopping? God damn it! You... Lied? 
This wasn't supposed to happen. This is wrong. This is wrong. What is happening in there? Open the door, please. I'm begging you. Help me. Please get me out of here. Ah, God damn it. Why? Why won't it work? Engaged? Is it because it's occupied? Uh, oh my god, oh my god! There's no time left! Listen! I was lied to! He lied to me! He put me in here! It was him! He killed me! It was him! <laughs> A beep? Did that thing just make that sound? Um, the display changed from engaged to vacant. Let's see if we can open it. Okay. Well, it registered my bracelet number, but it won't open with one person. We need at least two more people. Oh, I don't know. I need to get the 14 he died. somehow. Well... I think so. There was a boom sound. Uh -oh. There was a. Poof. So I'm, I'm pretty sure he died. Also, pretty sure he broke the rules because everyone who opens the door is supposed to go through it. So it might be why it fucking got set off. Also, yeah, as I said, it was in the vein of what Danganronpa was. Let's see, five is my character's number. I need to get the digital root of the fucking one thing. Plus one is six, plus eight, it's two, ten, fourteen, and Lotus. Ace, Lotus, you think you could give me a hand here? Hmm. Hmm. Five plus one plus eight equals fourteen. The digital root of fourteen, one, this should do it. Now we just need to pull the lever on the side. You guys ready? I'm gonna open it. Oh yeah, there's blood spatter on the door oh my now. Oh god! He's dead. That's a lot of blood. I think those bracelets are also bombs. Good god! That must be what happens if we break the rules. Whoa, that's... pretty bad. He... he blew up! He entered alone and on that rule sheet... It says anyone who op everyone who opens the door also has to enter, and they also all have to leave. He entered alone without the other two that he used to help open the door, and I think that's why he got blown up. Uh, June, uh, uh, are you okay? What the hell? Where did this fever come from? Uh, all right, okay. Uh, let's just rest for a minute, okay? Uh, you think you can walk? What? Yeah. Here we go. I didn't know she was. How are you feeling? Are, are you all right? Why? Why did this happen? Why did this happen? Do any of you know what the fuck is going on here? Who's Zero? What's this nonary game? Come on! Anybody? Anything? What the hell is going on? What are we doing here? <laughs> It's ten o'clock then. Hmm. I can wake you up by ten. It would be the first time we stayed up a little late and woke up early. That means it's been an hour since Zero's little announcement. That's that's also what I mean. I mean, like, I'm not gonna be here for a significant amount of time at that point. Yeah, you don't work tomorrow. Fuck! I've had enough of this crap. How long are we gonna pussyfoot around like this? We've only got eight hours until this time limit zero was going on about is up. Let's get going already. Go, go. No, I refuse. I'm not gonna end up like him. Him? You mean the ninth man? Of course. Who else? Blood, blood, and pieces of flesh. That's no way for a person to die. <clears throat> I think he just 
screwed up. He probably set off some sort of trap, and that killed him. I'm not gonna screw up like that. I'm getting out of here alive! <laughs> What's so goddamn funny? Oh, my apologies. You were just, uh, so very confident. I couldn't help myself. What the fuck? I think you've mistaken the situation. Huh? The ninth man's death. It had nothing to do with the trap. Or at least, not the sort of trap you imagine it did. Then? He broke one of Zero's rules. That was why he died. Quite simple if you think about it. Huh? You still don't... <sighs> All right. How about you take a moment and think back to what Zero said. Specifically, what did he say about the number of people? He said only three to five people can pass through one numbered door. Right? And after that? You've forgotten the relevant part. What did Zero say? <sighs> all those who enter must leave, and all who enter must contribute. Right? I think it was something like that. Whatever it was, it, it means that groups of less than three or more than five can't go through. That is correct. A gold star for you, Junpei. The ninth man, however, broke that rule. He tried to pass through a numbered door by himself. That was why he was executed. And Zero's watching us from somewhere, making sure we don't break any rules. Oh, I'm not so sure of that. Why not? Because this execution system is entirely automatic. You didn't notice? There's no need for him to monitor us. What do you... I see it must be me who tells you. I've waited long enough, I suppose. I had hoped Zero might spare me the trouble, but that seems increasingly unlikely. Do you know something? Well, I know a great many things, but yes. What is it you know? Here. A card? What does it say? See for yourself. Come on now, what's the point of giving me this? Give me that. Huh? The hell is this? <laughs> I see. This is Braille. Sorry, guys. I, I can't read this. Here, have it back. Okay, that was fun. What's so important about that card? I found it in my pocket. I can only assume it is a message from Zero. From Zero? A message? Wh what does it say? Calm down now. No need to panic. You don't need to force me. I'll read it. <clears throat> Bracelet number two. Since you are not blessed with sight, I shall bless you, and only you, with information. I shall tell you of the function of the red, of the dead, and of the bracelet. What? No, snake is his code name because the number on his bracelet's two, and uh, it kind of looks like a snake doing an S thing. The red is the recognition device. It will verify your number. Beside every number door, you will find a red. The dead is the deactivation device. It does exactly what it says. Once you have passed through the number door, you must use the dead to stop the detonator in your bracelet. But perhaps you are wondering, what does this detonator detonate? I am afraid this might be something of a surprise. I have placed a small bomb inside of you, and people who you are about to meet. You swallowed it all through my unconscious. I have no doubt, by the time you read this note, the bomb will have passed your stomach and found its way to your small intestine. In other words, you will be unable to regurgitate it. I suggest you do not try. As I mentioned before, the bracelet on your left hand contains a detonator. Think of it as a remote field, or timer, that's gone in your body. There is only one condition to call it detonate. That condition is that you enter a number door. Once you have done so, the timer will activate, no matter who you may be. You will have 81 seconds. If, after that time, the detonator has not been deactivated, it will send a signal to the bomb in your body, and stop being a to explode. This guy has a fucking fascination with the number In order to deactivate the detonator, every person who verified their number at the red must also verify their numbers at the dead. 
Once all numbers have been verified by the gate, you need only the whole number on your side, and the countdown will cease. Anyone who does not verify their number at the red will find themselves unable to verify their number at the red. That is to say, if you can pass through a number door without first verifying your number at the red, in 81 seconds, you will be dead. You must also keep in mind that the number of doors will close automatically after 9 seconds have passed. Oh god, he likes number 9 way too much. So as long as the doors open, the dead will not function. You will do well to remember this. Lastly, you have to discuss how to remove the bracelets. There are only two ways to do so. One, you escape from this ship. Two, your heart rate reaches zero. In other words, once the bracelet is taken outside the confine of the ship, or the backside of the wearer's heart rate has fallen to zero, it will shut down automatically. There is no other way to remove your bracelet. If you attempt to force it off, when you say go to the air, the bomb within you will immediately explode. This is all the information which I can impart to you. How you choose to use it is for you to decide. If used wisely, you can eliminate those who might be a danger to you. For a time, you would be able to control your fate. I wish you the best of luck. So it's saying... Only those who verify their numbers at the red can pass through the numbered doors. Teams can't add or subtract people after they're scanned in. The reds, deads, and bracelets enforce the rules. They're judge, jury, and executioner. Uh, oh, shit! A fucking bomb! C come out! Uh, uh, come out, damn it! There's a bomb inside me. Oh. What made Zero think creating this horror show of a game was a good idea? All right. I'm gonna ask one more time. Do any of you know anything about Zero? Actually, I... I saw him. I saw Zero when I got grabbed. I didn't see his face, though. Because he has white hair, am I correct? No, his number's three in San, the first part of Santa's Japanese for three. And actually, I only knew this because he explained it himself earlier. That's not something I knew offhand. Son of a bitch was wearing some kind of gas mask. What the hell? Come on, guys, give me something. You know, like, surprise or something? I saw that too. I did as well. Me too. I didn't see inside the mask, though. That mask, it was really scary. Huh? Oh, so all of our abductions were the same. We were taken from home at midnight. The person claiming to be Zero had a mask on. There was white smoke, and then each of us passed out. We woke up to find ourselves on D-deck, in a room with a three-level bunk bed. How about you, Seven? Did the same happen to you? Oh, me? Yeah, well, mine was just like the rest of yours. Okay, uh, that's good enough for now. So, I have a question. Snake and Clover, you were both kidnapped from the same room, and you woke up together. So, what's the deal with the two of you anyway? We're siblings. Siblings? Uh, yes. Snake is my older brother, obviously. That means I'm his little sister. That really so hard to understand. She is correct, of course. Are you, uh, surprised? Well, yeah, but... Why? There are other people here with connections to one another. Those two, for instance. Oh, you mean between Jumpy and me? Oh, yes. You did say you were childhood friends, didn't you? Wait, you went to school together? Yeah. Well, yeah. Hey, you think maybe we could figure out who Zero is this way? Yeah, you're right. You connect the dots between the victims, and that leads you to the perp. Textbook stuff. Junpei. Jun. Does any of this ring a bell? Huh. Ring a- Ring a bell? Well, perhaps you went to school with the son of a multi-millionaire. A millionaire? Son? Well, someone bought this boat, and set up all of whoever Zero is. They must be incredibly rich. 
Well, we can't be sure of that. To me, this seems as though it's the work of an organization, not an individual. Most likely, Zero is simply the representative of a larger group. What sort of organization? It could be a number of things. An army, perhaps, or a research group. Perhaps this is all some sort of psychological experiment. If it is, then it's a pretty fucked up experiment. I mean, come on! A guy's ah. dead! I don't know who the hell this Zero asshole is, but I know for sure he's got to be pretty fucked up in the head to do all this. If this was all one guy, then he's got some serious issues. I thought we were finished with that topic. But then what should we do? We should talk it through. Oh my god, enough! All we're doing is talking! Talking won't solve anything! It can't help us find our way out of here! Are you really sure you want to just sit around? We've only got seven and a half hours left. We already wasted an hour and a half of our nine hours. You're right. Very well then. There's only one way for us to proceed. Sure not gonna be fun running around knowing we gotta jump when Zero says jump. Well, it's stupid to just sit around here doing nothing. Thanks to Snake's card, at least we have some idea of how this all works. Correct. And so long as we all follow the rules, we should, uh, we will most likely be all right. But... But what? Who's going to go in which door? Oh yeah, uh, that's right. We can't have any more than five people in one door. All eight of us can't go in the same door. Then it would seem we will have to split up. Wait, I'm going into door five. Come on now. Don't be selfish. Call me whatever the hell you want. I'm not going in there. If I'm going to have to walk through all that blood, then I'd rather stay here. <sighs> and we were doing so well. Sorry, but I ain't going in there either. Someone else can go into door five. Oh, Santa, not you too. Hey, man, I just bought these shoes. If you think I'm getting some creepy dude's blood all over him, you got another thing coming. What the hell, man? <laughs> Weren't you the one who kept saying we should get going? Yeah. So, doesn't mean I wanted to go into door five. Oh, God. Fine, I'll go into door five. I can't go in there alone, though. Anyone else willing to come with me? I'll go. What? Don't worry. You'll be fine. We may part now, but I'm certain... How do you know that? Because I... That's not an answer! If you're going, I'm going too. I'm going into door five. What am I going to do with you? There's nothing you have to do. If I join you, the problem is solved, correct? Seven is seven, and Snake is two. And if you add Clover's four in my one, the digital root will be five. Seven plus two plus four plus one is 14. The digital root of 14. Oh, it works perfectly. The four of us can go into door five. Wait, what about the other four? What's their di- Lotus, Santa, June, and me. Lotus. Eight, three, six, and five. Eight, three, six, five. Whoa. Eight plus three plus six plus five is twenty-two. The digital root of twenty-two, two plus two, equals four. It's four. Add up our four bracelet numbers and the digital root is four. Then we can go into door four. Yeah. Huh. That worked out well. So the team assignments will be like this. Seven, Snake, Clover, and Ace. They Lotus, Santa, June, and me will go through door four. Are these really the teams I want? Beyond door five is what remains. I never want. Of course, if I went through door five, I wouldn't be going with Lotus and Santa. I could bring June with me through door five, but that means she'd have to see the body in there. I don't want to put her through that. Should I stay silent and go through door four? Or should I stop them? and insist on door five. All right then, 
It seems we've reached a conclusion. Shall we go? I'm going through door five. We're over there too, right, Snake? The door's not going anywhere. Slow down. I... which door? I'll go through door four with Lotus, Santa, and Jim. There's nothing to worry about. I just need to stay by her side. This should be fine. I should see the other four off. Looks like Ace and the others are going. Uh. Now then, goodbye. Be careful. What are you doing? We need to hurt. Snake! It's fine. Or are you planning on dying with everyone else? I assume you haven't forgotten the door only re Sorry! Let's go! Hey! How is it over there? Did you find anything? Something? It's just like before. Probably the sound of the detonator. Do you think? Uh. Hey, there it is. That's gotta be that dead. Come on, get over here. The beeping. Phew. Looks like it stopped. Hey, guys, are you? Yes, we're fine. Oh, hey, I'm gonna tell you about the dead. It's just like the red. You know how the red was red? Well, the dead is blue. Other than that, it's just like the red. Authenticating is the same, too. <laughs> awesome. Thanks. That helps a lot. Well, we could probably move on. You be careful out there. Roger that. Whew. Now it's our turn. I'll go first. Okay. Yeah. Sure. Let's go! All right. Run! Oh, damn. It's counting down. We can't go back! We need to hurry and find the device. Hey! Where the hell is the... How would I know? Don't give me that crap! I already am! <sighs> don't tell me the dead. Oh no! How many rooms? Uh, we don't have time to... We just need to open... Uh, it, it... Shit! This... Same... It's not moving! Oh! There it is! At the end of... Hey! How many more seconds do... How would I know? Our time limit is 81 seconds! I know that, goddamn! I'm asking you how many seconds... Hurry! <laughs> it's the dead! Come on, everyone! Uh, it looks like it stopped. <sighs> There's another door at the end of the hallway. Let's try this one for... And of course... A keyhole. What's this mark? No, not exactly. That's probably the symbol of Mars. Well, technically, they are the same, but I saw a number of similar symbols near the... The symbols of the solar system. Oh, the, the sun, Saturn, and Earth. At least that's what I'm assuming. So this isn't the man symbol. It's... I think so, yes. I see. Wait, where's Santa? Yeah, so, uh, here's the deal. None of the... Then that must mean... We only have two more doors. Maybe it's the room number. Uh, B92. The door on the left has a B92, and the one on the right says B93. All right, let's open them. Okay, I'll get B... One, two, three! Hey. Yeah, <laughs> I, uh, I didn't ex... It was so easy. Maybe this is all part of Zero's plan. 
Can't say I enjoy being treated like someone's puppet. Well, now we have these two rooms. I'm sure there's something in there that will help us get out of here. Let's find it. Santa and I will search this room. All right. Okay. Go ahead and save it there. It's a good place to stop. Bye and see you all next time.